Hi there, welcome to Great TV. I'm Kevin McNew. It's Tuesday, January 5th. Turnaround Tuesday was a little bit flat. We started higher but closed only fractionally higher in most cases. Let's take a look at the Grain Edge trading platform and see where we closed. In Chicago, corn was up a penny and a half, beans up a penny and a quarter, and wheat three cents higher on the day after losing double digits yesterday. You know, news today was pretty light. There was some export tender activity overnight. Japan looking to buy some U.S. wheat and Canadian wheat. Uh, some news from Zimbabwe that they would likely be uh, importing corn because of the drought conditions there. But overall, there's just very little to get excited about. Let's take a look at some of the factors that are driving the market right now. Key to the current situation is what's going on in South America. Meteorologists continue to point to better conditions in northern Brazil where it has been dry, but the next two weeks look to be very good in terms of imp improving soil moisture and increasing crop potential there. The rest of the South, or I'm sorry, the rest of South America has been very good, uh, actually even a little bit too wet, but overall it is going to be a good year. So that is really weighing heavily on the market. The other factor that's going on is the increased competition from Argentina. We know that new president Marcy eliminated their export taxes. He's reduced their quotas on production. And even so, uh, even with those conditions, we are seeing a value drop in their currency, 29% drop in the Argentina peso uh, since Marcy took office and 5% drop today. So that alone is gonna be problematic for U.S. competition, especially in corn and wheat, but eventually in soybeans when they get their new crop uh, supplies off the ground. The only sort of positive news we have right now, South Africa, which has some dry conditions, uh, but we're seeing some potential for some rain in the coming weeks. The other news that, that uh, is not really news, but is sort of meteorologists looking ahead, we had what meteorologists are saying is a peak in the El Nino cycle, uh, and that pretends a drop in, this, in the El Nino, La Nina phase. Meteorologists we are talking to at Planetics suggest that in the coming months, we will see a return to a normal state and maybe a potential return to a La Nina. Now, they are not saying that we're gonna see a big uh, return to La Nina by the summer, if we saw a La Nina, that would be positive for a drought in the U.S. or at least strongly correlated with a drought in the U.S. They are not suggesting that's going to happen this growing season, but potentially into 2017. So we're a long ways away from any sort of potential supply disruptions, at least in corn and beans, that will move this market higher. Right now, we continue to have negative demand fundamentals. Exports are off. Uh, end user demand is off. We're seeing uh, soybean crushing, you know, we're hearing, hearing stories of soybean crushers really backing off in face of tight margins. And the same holds true for ethanol. So overall, this is a market that in my opinion, looks to be uh, heading for lower prices as, as we go into the next quarter of quarter one of 2016. We do have the supply and demand report next week, but my own hunch is that we will likely see very little change and potentially even see a ramp up in supply if the USDA finds more bushels. We have no indication in the cash market that the cash market's running tight. Basis has been flat for the last six weeks, and so there's very little uh, indication that we have a smaller crop than what USDA has projected. So we're advising our clients at Grain Hedge to really be cautious about the next quarter, even into the spring, early spring of 2016. If you're concerned about where your potential market situation is, if you're a producer, give us a call 877-472-4607 or visit us online at grainhedge.com to learn more about how we can help you in your marketing situation. Have a great day and trade.